welcome back. Again, we are here with Mark Warburton from Project Pro Systems, a regional Clear Center partner. And today we're going to talk about how to make money kind of as the evolution of the value-added reseller shifted into the managed service provider and now into the hybrid service provider. So we're going to talk about you know, your customers' costs in general and how much the service provider used to make, which is this, this identifying line here. Which was a you know let's say they got lucky and they were making fifty percent margin on something they were selling maybe it's thirty percent but in the end it's a small percentage of the overall value that the customer is actually paying versus a managed service provider that may leverage economies of scale some standardization some imaging some remote management to make more money but they're still paying a lot of money out to different third party vendors namely Cisco SonicWall Barracuda. Microsoft, et cetera, where most of these so are actually proprietary systems or closed systems with multiple hardware or software systems that are not really integrated, and then walk in the new hybrid service provider where they're doing something on-premise as well as off-premise, but really leveraging open source standards or open uh, source technology along with closed source technology. So Mark, you've made the transition from Navar to the MSP over the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been in this industry for 20, 20, about 25 years. 25 years. So from the VAR to the MSP and now to the hybrid service provider, why does this make sense for you? How do you make more money and your customer actually pay less? Yeah, it's a good question. So for us, when we first started, <clears throat> you know, we were in the VAR. We're making, our, our, our numbers are about 30% is where we was at. We got involved here in the MSP and we had a kind of like a paradigm shift going on internally. Like if we're not pushing boxes, and selling equipment, how are we really going to make money? And so what we were able to do once we got Clear OS working on our equipment, we realized that we're keeping more of the money already because we're not sending it out to the big vendors like Cisco, Microsoft, Barracuda, whoever it may be. So this was already a win for us. But from there to this jump was the biggest win because we're now able to bring the cost down for the customer but keep a lot of the profits for the company. And for IT companies, it's always hard to maintain profitability. And so here we get the best of, I would say, all the worlds here. One, we get the customer gets a lower price. We as a company internally get a better profit margin based on many reasons. One is we standardize on ClearOS. We standardize on the operating system, which allows us to get rid of four or five different engineers right. and just have the one that's standardized in this product. We also uh, realize here we're on-premise and off-premise, which allows us to get more work in, in the long run because now we're doing on-premise going to people's offices and also providing them a solution up in the cloud, for example. And so we have seen this model up north of 200% difference than this model, which was we're at 30%. So 30% to a couple hundred percent, we're not even talking apples to apples when we talk margin. It's none of this. I'm going to go out for, remember back in the days when you go out for toss, special pricing and, mm -hmm. or this price matching and, you know, you got these hardware manufacturers that really sit in this area that really control a lot of the costs and economics. It's, it's a game changer. So literally leverage open source technologies, focus on the support and installation, make your money there. Don't keep selling different hardware manufacturers gear or different uh, services or software from different companies that aren't integrated. Standardize your offering, scale it, um, and really just focus on core competencies. Your customers want basic IT outcomes. I want it to be up, I want it to be secure, I want it to be stable, I want to do file print, messaging, web access. As long as you put check marks on all of those, really, and solid check marks on all of those, they'll write you the checks at the end of the month, no? Yeah, that has been the easiest thing. And for us, I want to bring one more point up over here. I have a lot of stickiness to my customers. Over here, I was kind of like a box pusher. They had their own internal IT department, they did their thing, we disappeared. As it evolved, I realized I'm really sticky with my customer. I'm not only providing solutions at a better price point for them, but I'm getting repeat customers here, and I'm, I'm sending out retainers for services. And honestly, in the IT business, where you make your real money is in IT services. If you can go in there and charge consulting fees for one, as a retainer, two, as an hourly rate to help them maintain their project projects or new projects and what i've seen over here i'm getting more repeat business i'm adding we did one phase of the product now the next level and the next level and here they're getting a better price point but internally 
we're making a better margin for our customer, our, our company. And one of the biggest reasons why this is real is because a service provider delivers service. It's not slumming product. It's the listening to your customer and delivering service, but you need a platform to be able to do it on. So again, Mark, thank you for just sharing your real world experience. Mm -hmm. He's got um, some of our partners have been doing this for a long time. He's one of the newer ones. He's been doing it for about four years, but he's got solid uh, examples and use cases that we like to refer to. So thank you for your thankful for your time and for just committing, you know, to sell Clear OS primarily exclusively. Yeah, and uh, you're, you're welcome. Thanks for having me come out. It's always easy to share success stories when we put our names on stuff and we have good credibility on both sides. It's a win-win for everybody.